there, I'm The Lesson Hacker and I'm back here on the Craig and Dave channel, where we untangle tech, sift through specs and maybe make you chuckle along the way. We maybe, we'll see. In today's agenda, we're gonna look at Nvidia's shiny new RTX 5000 series and the evolution of DLSS. Now spoilers, it's a roller coaster of transistors, AI wizardry and existential questions about what's real in gaming. Let's talk about GPU. Are they actually getting better? Or are manufacturers just piling on more numbers to justify eye-watering price tags? NVIDIA's latest flagship, the RTX 5090, boasts 92 billion transistors, 32 gigabytes of VRAM, and a memory bandwidth so fast, it could probably load your regrets in real time. It's built to crush 4K, dabble in 8K, and absolutely annihilate your bank account at £2,000. But who's this really for? Gamers? Content creators? Or someone hoping to render a hyper-realistic simulation of the meaning of life? With specs this powerful, NVIDIA is clearly aiming beyond the typical gamer. After all, a casual session of The Sims doesn't exactly demand enough power to rival the NASA control room and a budget to match. Now let's shift gears a little bit to something more magical. DLSS, Deep Learning Super Sampling. Introduced in 2018, the first version was, well, how do I put this politely? It was like trying to enjoy a Monet painting from three centimeters away. Blurry, a bit messy, and not quite what you hoped for. But Nvidia stuck with it, and over the years, DLSS evolved from experimental to essential. Fast forward to today, and DLSS 4 is making its debut alongside the new generation of cards. Swapping out old convolutional neural networks for fancy new transformer technology, that's AI to you and me, think of it like going from a horse-drawn carriage to a self-driving Tesla overnight. Now it's smarter, it's faster, and it handles complex visuals with ease. But what exactly does it do? Now, it isn't just about making games prettier. It's full-blown AI-powered assistant. Super resolution upscales lower res images to 4K or 8K. Ray reconstruction makes ray tracing sharper by ditching traditional methods in favor of AI-powered magic. And multi-frame generation? Well, this is the most controversial at all, where the AI is capable of generating three frames for every one that's computed properly. That speeds up the generation of your frames enormously. And it's like having a digital artist imagine new frames in real time. This makes the gameplay silky smooth, but it is a bit like watching a symphony conductor juggle flaming batons, except instead of music, you're getting impossibly crisp graphics at an absurdly high frame rate. Of course, not everyone is clapping. Some critics claim that AI-generated frames are fake, especially three out of four. But let's be honest, if the game looks stunning and runs at 120 frames per second, does it matter if a few frames are AI handiwork? It's like asking if the AI on a cake was handmade or piped by a machine, because either way, it's delicious. For most of us, DLSS is a lifesaver, giving us gorgeous visuals without needing to remortgage our houses for a new GPU every year. Purists may scoff, but let's face it, rendering every pixel natively is like bringing a cannon to a knife fight. Impressive, but entirely unnecessary. That's you, isn't it, Brian? You're a purist. You've turned DLSS off on yours, haven't you? Yeah, he gets four frames a second on Baldur's Gate. 1080 too. With DLSS 4, AI shifted from being a helpful sidekick to the main hero of the story. Developers can now push the graphical boundaries further than ever before, but here's the catch. Features like multi-frame generation are exclusive to the RTX 5000 series, so if you're still rocking an older GPU, it might be time to join the upgrade queue or accept your fate as a retro gamer. And that's the rundown on, on Nvidia's RTX 5000 series and DLSS 4. A mixture of raw brilliance, power, and existential pondering. And if nothing else, it reminds us that games are evolving faster than we can say, DLSS frame generation. To summarize this week, Nvidia's RTX 5000 series GPUs led by the RTX 5090 boast cutting edge specs like 92 billion transistors and DLSS 4, but their price tags target professionals more than casual gamers. DLSS has evolved from a rough early concept to a revolutionary AI-driven technology. With DLSS 4 using transformer models, AI, to enhance graphics responsiveness and frame generation. Critics argue that AI-generated frames aren't real, but most gamers' smooth performance and stunning visuals far outweigh any philosophical concerns. DLSS 4 showcases how AI is reshaping gaming, but its exclusive features leave older GPUs behind, pushing the industry towards rapid advancements and frequent upgrades. Thanks for tuning in to the Craig and Dave channel this week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you found this useful or helpful or even mildly entertaining. Because, you know, we all have to buy new GPUs here. We do. So keep those views coming in. But before we go, here's a parting joke. Why did the GPU bring a ladder to the party? Because it wanted to reach new heights in performance. <laughs> See you next time. Still haven't got those new writers.